Hey what's up guys, it's Crafty Fox, and today we are making the GE AC4400 CW. So this is in the Chicago and Northwestern livery. Here's what it looks like, we'd have 360 view of it. And I actually updated the model for the AC4400 quite a lot for this, so it's a lot more accurate. And let me go over the changes. So I noticed in a lot of GE locomotives, they have like this part that sticks out down over here like sort of like a bar if you look up in real life I can show you a real life picture of what I'm talking about I actually didn't include this detail for a lot of my builds and it's actually quite common I'm probably gonna add it to my future Jeevos though uh, but for this one I just I wanted to add it and if you go on the side in the back I added more uh, better vent detail I used to only just put like a couple of bedrock blocks in the back but I realized that's too simple, This the real life versions a lot more complicated than that, so I added more shape to it, uh, making the vents in the back. And I also did add the chains on the bottom, which I did realize uh, they do exist after buying my model train. And also on the side here, I actually made this vent uh, 3D just to make it more accurate shape so it's not like a full block. And uh, also another thing in the back here, I probably made this a lot thinner because this is the AC4400 it's not like a ES44 AC so this is a lot thinner in the back um, but yeah that's pretty much it for the changes I also did add like the air brake hoses I forgot to say that underneath the coupler and also the cab I don't know if I'm gonna do this to all my locomotives but for this one I'm gonna have like a pillar right over here with the oak trap doors because it's yellow uh, but maybe for other colors they probably won't have the available color for that but that's what I'm gonna do for Chicago in Northwestern since it's yellow and uh, yeah it's actually commissioned by um, Reed Rail Productions it's his first commission so thanks to him for making this video possible and let's get started on the build alright so we're gonna grab our materials first nether brick stairs uh, black concrete oak slab dark oak uh, fence a slab and fence gate and we can also add in a stone slab and a birch um, fence and let's take out smooth quartz slab so that's what we have so far it's gonna we're gonna build it up right over here so for this one uh, we're gonna add in uh, another brick stairs in the middle then another corner one side of it and upside down on the side of that and then we're going to add black concrete, two blocks wide on top. And we'll make it, uh, I would say, three blocks long. Then go on the bottom here, add in nether brick stairs at the bottom. Dark oak fence gate to the side of it. And nether brick stairs right here in the corner. Then we'll add in uh, black concrete here. Upside down nether brick stairs underneath, facing towards the back. And then two smooth quartz slabs like this for the steps. Then we'll make a um, diagonal of oak slabs and dark oak fence. We're going to make an L shape. Now we're going to move down here and we'll add dark oak slab in the middle. And then we're going to add dark oak fence gate underneath the slab and also to the side and open that up. Alright, then we'll move up over here, add in a stone slab right there. Then we'll take out birch fence and add it alongside this walkway. So we got that so far. We'll also add in a uh, oak trapdoor right over here for the railing chain. All right, now the back of this, we'll need to add in the wheel. So take out um, our gray terracotta, dark oak stairs, dark oak fence gate, and we're gonna add the wheel here. So right after here, gray terracotta, upside down, dark oak stairs and a fence gate and we're going to do the same thing uh, gray, con gray terracotta the stairs at the fence gate and the back is just gray terracotta upside down stairs but this time there's going to be a hopper so we're going to add that facing towards the stairs like this then we'll add in um, this nether brick uh, stairs right over here the sides of these wheels and we're going to add an upside down one right next to it like so 
All right, and now we're gonna add in on the top another brick slab. So that's gonna be two blocks long. Skip a block two and add it for all these. Then we'll add in another brick slabs across the bottom area, like so. And then in the back, we'll add dark oak fence gate here. Open it up, and let's add in a dark oak trap door in between uh, the gaps. All right, now for the underside of this, we're gonna add in um, another brick wall adjacent to that trap door that we just placed. So that's gonna be two of them right here. And I think there is one in the back on top of the hopper as well. Then the rest, we're gonna fill that in with black concrete all the way across like this and all the way across this middle section like so, right to the end. All right, then we're gonna go down underneath and add in another brick block next to all the stairs. Then we'll add in another brick stairs, upside down, right in front of all these nether brick blocks. And we'll add in another brick slab in the middle of the bogies, like so. All right, so once we added that, we're gonna go right over here and add in black concrete, two blocks like that. And I'm gonna make it 10 blocks long, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Extend the rest, so it's two blocks wide. And then we're gonna go on the bottom at the start of this. We're gonna add in two more black concretes and then another brick stairs upside down. Go on the end, do the same thing right over here. Then we'll add in another brick stairs upside down all the way across the side. So we should end up like this. All right, so after we've done all of this, um, what we're gonna do, we're gonna copy this and build it onto the other side right here. All right, so once we flipped it off to the other side, should look like this. Then we'll go right over here to this inner uh, most black concrete in between the walls and we're gonna replace that with another brick slab. That's gonna be right next to the fuel tank. All right, so the fuel tank, uh, each side's gonna be different. On this side, it's gonna have three slabs of nether brick, two nether brick slabs on the other side, and then upside down nether brick stairs, two blocks like that, skip a block, two blocks, and in the middle there will be uh, this nether brick fence like that. While on the other side, we're gonna have uh, upside down nether brick stairs here, and then nether brick slabs all the way across. Like so, it's a lot simpler on this side. All right, so once we have that, we're gonna go to the back, add in another brick slab here, uh, another brick walls on either side of it, like that. So then we're gonna go to the area right before the fuel tank, right over here with the hopper, going all the way to the pilot, and we're gonna copy all of this that we did in the front, and we're gonna build it just in the other direction, right over here. All right, so once we have both sections, we're gonna go in the front, and we're gonna add an item frame right here both sides with a smooth quartz inside while the other side in the back there will be tripwire hooks instead then we're going to change this back part so it's going to be a plow so delete the stairs right over here and we'll make them black concretes instead and I'll put back the dark oak fence get that I just deleted all right then we'll go um, in the back we're going to extend this so it's goes on both sides like that making a v-shape of the oak slab now we're going to go right over here to the front take out um, yellow concrete and we'll take out bedrock so on this side we'll add in yellow concrete two blocks tall and I'm going to make the bottom part three blocks long bedrock yellow concrete bedrock and then we'll add in five yellow concretes one two three four five and then we'll go to the back and we'll add in smooth quartz slab, a uh, smooth stone slab, stone brick slab. So that's going to be smooth quartz slab here, oak, then smooth stone, stone brick. And we're going to copy the other side, same exact pattern. And it's just specific to this locomotive. And then we'll add in um, oak slabs all the way across the side here like so. Then on top of this we'll add in uh, oak slabs, it's going to be five blocks long, cross like that. 
Then we're going to go in the front here, add in smooth quartz inside. Then we'll add in um, dark prismarine slab, brick slab, and then stone slab. So I'm going to add that. Two dark prismarine slabs, brick slab, dark prismarine slab, and then a stone slab, like so. And then we're going to go on the inside of this, fill that in with yellow concrete side of that hole. Next we'll go on to the other side, add in yellow concrete two blocks tall like that and the bottom part two blocks long then the inside part we're going to go diagonally in and add in black concrete then we'll add in bedrock here and then another one diagonally and then in oak stairs right here then we'll add in uh, yellow concrete extend this till it goes right above that stairs that we placed earlier like so it kind of matches up with the other side and then we'll go back over here, adding yellow concrete. And this is going to extend all the way across to the other yellow concrete that we just placed. Then we'll add two dark prismarine slabs, brick slab, dark prismarine slab, stone slab, and dark prismarine slabs all the way across to the back. Then we'll add in yellow concrete on top. And a dark prismarine stairs right there. I'm going to add four dark prismarine blocks and then we'll go add dark prismarine stairs upside down here with a smooth quartz inside the other side we'll add dark prismarine here dark prismarine stairs upside down and smooth quartz inside then on top of the brick slabs we're going to add red concrete with a birch sign on the side of it both sides then dark prismarine block five blocks across and then dark prismarine stairs on the outer edge and three dark prismarine blocks inside then the front will add in a uh, yellow concrete top will add in gray carpet and to the side we'll add in oak stairs and an oak slab both sides well, on the other side, we'll add in uh, oak stairs, so it's going to have like a tiny window for the doorway. Then we'll add in an acacia slab, and that's going to be right in there in the middle. Let's add a yellow concrete right behind it, and we're going to fill in the rest of it with yellow concrete. Uh, oak fence gate right over here on the left, open it up. And then we'll add in a birch sign with oak button underneath on the sides for number plates and in the middle we can add in a birch button as well and we're going to add an item frame surrounding it like so now for um, the cab itself we'll add in an oak trap door on the sides open them up and then we'll add in um, black glass right next to it and another one diagonal to it then we'll add in black concrete two blocks here both sides add in oak trap door here hovering above sort of like a sunshade that's why it's lowered then we'll add in a uh, yellow concrete after it then the middle here we're going to make three blocks wide and four blocks long of yellow concrete then we'll add in oak stairs across the sides of it. All the way across. Now in the middle, there's going to be yellow glass pane. Or rather, yellow concrete and then yellow glass pane. And then uh, black concrete. I mean black glass panes on the sides of it. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> and now um, on the roof, there's a bit of detail. Take out birch button stone button, oak button, and then a flower pot. So go on the roof, add a flower pot in the back in the middle. And then we're going to make sort of like a square shape using birch buttons. Spaced apart like this. And then a stone button in the middle, just making this like an X. Then we'll add in an oak button right over here, just on the left hand side, like so. Alright, then on this side we'll add in uh, this little, I forgot what do you call it, but it goes like, or something like that. 
But anyways, <laughs> that sounded weird. We'll add a wither skull and skull right there. The other side will have uh, this thing that reaches down and the bell. So we're gonna go to this bogey just on this side, uh, replace this uh, slab with a stairs. Then we'll delete the trap doors here and replace them with upper slabs. Then we'll replace these two slabs with stairs, these two slabs with stairs, and then we'll add in another brick wall right here. And that's gonna be our bell. Now the back part, We'll add in a dark oak trapdoor right above that fence gates on both sides, like so. And now we're going to go on this side, add in an oak stairs right here, here and two sandstone walls on top. Then we'll add in oak slabs all the way across the sides for the walkway. Next we'll go back over here, add in yellow concrete on the inner part of this. And then we're going to go diagonally and add yellow concrete. And we can make this on the other side as well, making a V shape. Then we'll add dark prismarine stairs upside down, right here. And another one diagonally up like this, making this shape. Add in yellow concrete inside here. And then we'll go on the other side, do the same thing, the dark prismarine stairs, so that there's two upside down ones diagonally. Then we'll add in dark prismarine block right behind the bottom one, both sides, and on uh, each side is going to be different. So I guess for this side we'll add in bedrock here, bedrock inside diagonally, and then we're going to go diagonally out and add in two bedrocks, diagonally in two bedrocks. Dark prismarine stairs upside down right here, and a slab and a full dark prismarine block, three blocks across like this, and then three blocks across of dark prismarine stairs. Then the other side, add in stairs here, slab right there, and we'll add in three bedrocks right to the side. Dark prismarine block, and actually I'm gonna flip the design for this part, so this is gonna be a slab and that will be a stairs instead. And then we'll add in a dark oak button right over here, the side of it. And Minecraft ladders, three blocks across right here. Then we'll add in yellow concrete underneath here, all the way across to the back. Go on the other side, add in yellow concrete all the way across the back as well. Then we're going to add a dark prismarine slab in between the bedrocks here, and dark prismarine across the entire hole. Now we're to go on top, add in gray carpet right above these two bedrocks. And gray carpet, three blocks wide like this, and it's going to go all the way to the back of the cab. Alright, so after we've done that, uh, we're going to move down here, add in dark prism rain block. And this is going to go all the way across behind this slab. Then we'll add in dark prism rain stairs here and dark prismarine all the way across to the cab. Add in yellow concrete inside um, these holes. Right here on the inner part of that dark prismarine stairs and the wall. So it should look like this so far. Now we're gonna go um, to the back, add in yellow concrete. It's gonna be three blocks tall and we'll add in an oak stairs. Then we'll go diagonally outwards, add in uh, yellow concrete, four blocks tall. Other side, same thing. And we'll add in a stone slab in this hole, both sides. All right, so for the back section, we're gonna add in uh, two more birch fences on top of this, and then two blocks tall of dark oak uh, fence like that. Same thing on the other side. So it's a bit taller, as you can see like this. Then on the right hand side, we'll add in two blocks tall, iron tra iron bar, and then acacia button right below the stairs. While on the other side, there will be a ladder, so that's gonna be four blocks tall of spruce uh, fence gates. And they are gonna be all opened up. It's gonna poke a little bit above. Then we'll add in dark prismarine on top in the middle. And uh, then we're gonna make it so it's going to be 
say eight blocks long, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then we'll go ahead and add in dark prism rain uh, stairs right over here on top of that pillar, and another one in the front, and then bedrock. I mean, another brick stairs cross in the middle. We'll do the same thing on the other side, like so. And the side of that will add in dark prism rain slabs all the way across, sticking out like that. Same thing on the other side. And then for the bottom, we'll add in an oak uh, stairs right here, two nether brick stairs, and then an oak stairs. So this is sort of in the middle area. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Then we'll add in an oak. A trap door, two in the front, both sides, and one in the back, both sides like that. All right, so for the vent detail, this is where it gets a little complicated. Um, we're gonna take out um, bedrock, make it three blocks tall in the middle here, and you know what? We'll make it so it's going to be. Let's say five blocks long, so one, two, three, four, five. And if you can't use bedrock, of course you can use another block, just remember that. And we're going to go across like that, so it's like a three by five, I think. Alright, so then we'll add in an oak stairs right here, one on the bottom, one on the top. Oak trap door, close it up. Then we'll add in bedrock in the middle, yellow concrete on the top and the bottom. And then we'll add in two oak stairs at the bottom and two at the top facing towards the back and then two uh, oak trap doors, close them up like so. Then we'll add in yellow concrete at the bottom and the top and an oak trap door right here, open it up. Then we'll add yellow concrete here and then bedrock two blocks tall like so and then yellow concrete inside for the rest of the area like so. Then we'll add in yellow concrete all the way across the bottom section to the front and we'll do the same thing on the other side yellow concrete all the way across the bottom half of it till we reach that bedrocks. Alright so for this side we'll add in uh, oak stairs here, oak trap door open it up, oak stairs top, then yellow on the bottom and the top bedrock in the middle, skip a block and do the same thing here. Then we'll add a bedrock at the bottom, oak stairs, top of the bottom, and an oak trap door on the side, close it up. Then we'll go over here and add yellow on the bottom, fill that in. Then we'll make it sort of like a two by two of upside down um, oak stairs like this. And the inner part of this, we'll fill that in with bedrock like that. Then top section, add in yellow concrete all the way across. So this is going to go all the way across to the front. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Like so. Then we'll add in uh, dark prism marine slabs all the way across the sides. And then two dark prism marines here. Skip a block, two more. Skip a block, add one here. So for this back um, filter, we'll add in uh, this polished anisite with black carpet on top. Then for the horn, we'll add in a uh, dark prismarine slab inside the gap and fill that top in with a uh, dark oak fence gate like so. All right, for the logo, that's gonna be three blocks of oak stairs facing towards the front. Same thing on the other side. And we'll add in a dark prismarine in the inside of that so it's filled in. Then we're going to add dark prismarine stairs, and this one's going to face towards the back, while the other side will face towards the front. And we'll add in a mossy cobblestone wall underneath it, yellow concrete on the inside of this. And we'll add in yellow concrete all the way across this bottom row, right to the front section, same thing on the other side. Next, we'll add in yellow concrete after the stairs, and then upside down dark prismarine stairs, and then two dark prismarine blocks. 
yellow concrete all the way across for the rest. So for the other side, we'll fill in the inside of this with yellow concrete. And we'll add in yellow concrete here, dark prismarine block, two blocks long, dark prismarine stairs, and yellow concrete inside, and fill in the rest of the area. Then we'll add in uh, oak buns, two blocks like that on the sides of the dark prismarine. And acacia fence gate right here, inside this dark prismarine stairs, and open it up. Same thing on the other side, add in the fence gate and open it up. Next we'll go to the left and we'll add in two oak fence gates, open them up. Then inside that we're going to add three blocks tall of dark oak uh, fences. Add a dark oak fence gate here and skip a block, dark oak fence, two blocks tall, dark oak fence gate in the middle of that. And the top section will go diagonally, add in uh, dark oak uh, fence, then a fence gate, and then we're going to alternate until we reach the front. All right. Then we're going to skip a block here and fill in the rest with gray carpet just before the wall. All right, now I'm going to add in the door banner. So to make that, we would go to our chest, grab a black banner, green dye, yellow dye, go to our loom. Put the black banner in, yellow dye, and this is going to go make a border around it, put it back in. And we'll fill in the bottom half, and then we'll add in green dye across the bottom half of it. And uh, this is going to be the lower half, lower third maybe. And we'll just place that in the back of the cab, both sides. Like so. Alright, so next I'm going to take out spruce button add in two right over here in front of the bedrock and go on the other side we're going to add in another two at the bottom then we'll go back to this side add in a dark oak bun right here the sides a birch button right here dark oak bun top and the bottom and then skip two blocks top of the bottom again skip a block top of the bottom skip a block top and bottom skip a block top and the bottom and then two birch buttons here. Birch button um, right around here at the bottom. And then we'll add in oak button spaced apart two here. Dark oak button behind this one. Like so. So next we'll go on to the other side. And we will go um, right after this cab area. And we'll add in these two birch buttons underneath here. Then we'll add in dark oak bun, top here, and we'll at the bottom, skip a block, do the same thing, skip a block, do the same thing, skip a block, add one here at the top, while the bottom is going to be birch button. Skip a block, birch button, and dark oak buttons two at the back at the top. Then back here, another birch button in between these buttons, so many buttons for this build, and that should be good. Next we'll go back on the other side, finish up the railing, so... Uh, we'll skip a block here, add in dark oak fence, two blocks tall, skip a block, dark oak fence, two blocks tall, add another brick fence here, and dark oak fence on top. So these things are separated. Then we'll add in dark oak fence gates across the top section of this. And another one right over here. Dark oak fence, two blocks tall, like that. Alright, so now we're going to add in the rest of the railings. So the railings for this is pretty simple. We'll just continue this fence gate and two block tall dark oak fence all the way across the sides here and for the other side as well. Alright, so once we added the fences on sides, we'll add in a iron bar right over here to the side of the window for the side view mirrors. And then we'll go to the back, go to the first two axles here, and we'll replace this trap door with dark oak fence gate. And this is going to be the chain. And do the same thing on the other side. So this chain is just going to be on the back side. There is no chain in the front. Then go to the back, add in a stone button right here for the back lamp. And yeah, that's actually pretty much it on how to build the Chicago in Northwestern AC4400 CW in Minecraft. Thanks to Read Rail Productions for commissions built and making this video possible. So if you guys do enjoy this video, remember to hit that like button down below, subscribe if you are new here, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.